One day, my friend Ricky asked me to go to a zoo no one knows about. He said that it is a secret underground zoo where only a limited number of people could enter through personal connections. The entrance fee was exorbitantly expensive, almost a thousand dollars, but since Ricky came from a rich family, he offered to pay for my admission. I was very excited and went to the zoo with him. When I went to the entrance, many people were there, and the staff started guiding us. Welcome to the Human Zoo. Our zoo has combined human and animal genes to create the most beautiful creatures. Aren't you really excited? But you must write a confidential oath that you'll never reveal anything you saw here today. And whoever reveals the secret will become prey to the beasts here. <laughs> there were murmurs from the crowd, but everyone signed the oath and got on the elevator. The elevator went all the way down to the 10th basement floor, and when the door opened, a large glass wall stretched out ahead, and there were living creatures inside. The first thing I saw was a human figure, seven feet tall, covered entirely in crocodile skin. Its torso was very long, and it stood on short limbs. The creature squealed as it stared at us with its yellow reptile eyes. Its opened mouth was full of crocodile teeth. Walking further inside, a huge eagle-like creature was crouching inside the glass, and when it spread its black wings that was covering its whole body, a human-like face emerged. Standing on human feet, its wingspan seemed to be nearly eight feet, and it flew into the air in a flash. The ceiling of the zoo, which was below 10 floors underground, was very high, and the eagle flew here and there. Then the zookeeper threw food on the floor. It flew over and snatched it at once. Everyone cheered and clapped. It was an unbelievable sight. As I continued walking, I saw more and more shocking creatures. A creature with the head of a black panther and a lower body of a human. A creature with a snake head and a human body. A creature with a tiger face mixed with a human face, and so on. They pounced on the glass whenever we passed by. I was continuously shocked. In the meantime, someone took out a hidden camera and tried to take pictures of the creatures. Then, a security guard took the person's camera from behind, threw it away, and cursed at him. And after a while, a staff started guiding us. All right, finally, the main event of the day is coming soon. Don't miss the best spectacle on earth. After a while, the zookeepers appeared, dragging someone in the cage full of tiger men. That person was struggling for help, and the zookeepers just threw him into the cage. In an instant, the tiger men ran up to him and tore him into pieces with both hands. I screamed on the spot, and so did the other people. Then the staff said, Do not worry, that's not a real human, but a human clone created by genetic recombination. I couldn't breathe. To me, this wasn't a spectacle. It was just a crime committed by madmen. Then I saw a doctor surrounded by people in the distance. The doctor was making an impassioned speech about how he had succeeded in combining the genes. I got furious, but everyone was just watching with interest. Some of them asked, How much is that animal? I want to own it as a pet. Then the doctor presented an astronomical amount. There were about 50 species of creatures in the zoo, and there was also an aquarium. There were creatures like turtle men and stingray men in the aquarium. All of them were too bizarre for me. I came home and thought about it carefully. I eventually called the police. After a while, I heard a voice in front of my house. It's the police, open the door. When I opened the front door, they were not the police, but employees of the zoo. They covered something on my head and put me in the car. When I regained consciousness, I was in a laboratory at the zoo and the doctor was standing in front of me, scowling at me and said, how dare you break your promise? I'll change your genetic structure and make you a beast. If I inject you DNA modification, your body will gradually grow hair, and you will grow fangs, and your nose will get longer. You'll gradually turn into a dog. <laughs> Another great piece will be created. I begged him for help, but he gave me anesthetic, and I passed out. I was stuck in that lab for days. The doctor was still studying my DNA as well as that of dogs. But a few days later, government agents suddenly rushed in and arrested all the zoo staff and doctors. I was able to come home and explain to my family what had happened, but they didn't believe it. 
The zoo was closed, but surprisingly, the incident did not appear anywhere in the media or the news and was thoroughly hidden. And a few days later, men in black suits came to me and warned me not to disclose a thing about the zoo. Eventually, the zoo vanished in thin air and no one knows where the creatures have gone or what happened to them.